So we really didn't get a call for this one. We were actually out on a trail when Sean here said, hey, my Jeep's broke and I need to tow out of here. <laughs> I'm supposed to be driving a Moab right now, but instead we're heading out to get this, something broke in the steering. We're gonna have to pick it up with the wrecker. We got that back there. Luckily it was loaded, ready to go to Moab. So that wasn't too much. Look how much sun I got today. Got you are burnt. Yeah, I think I'm glowing. Oh, You're yeah, glowing. Okay. So what's the weather? It's been a beautiful day. It's like 65 degrees. We finally have warm, sunny day. It has been a gorgeous day. So we're gonna head out there on the West Rim and we are going to get it out of there, get it back to his camp so he can work on it, so he can go wheeling again. Break it on Saturday, fix it on Sunday, wheel it on Monday. We're here at the water tanks unloading and there are still lots of people here and it's like six o'clock at night. So Jamie's driving like a bat out of heck. I'm hovering between two seats. And we got Sean. And Sean. Oh, we're laughing at each other. <laughs> I got a giant lab dog. All right, we're here at the Jeep where it's broke down. And Jamie's just backing up here. How strong is your front bumper? Is it hooked up good? Yeah, I've got uh, six bolts. All right, Sean's going to be our cameraman today. All right, so what happened was his hydraulic ram has broken off from the mount. So it rendered the vehicle undrivable. Unless you're mad. The box is ripped off the frame. Then you slam it in reverse and you back it oh, up yeah. the canyon. Yeah, if you watch the bleeping Jeep Versus, you'll see how to get a rig like this off the trail. Kill it. What do you think about driving this piece? It's so fun in the sand dunes. It goes so fast and just goes wherever you want to go. Got our spare starter. Since I there. just did that, yeah. did you just hear me do the, that? The starter's <laughs> wounded, so. All right. So if you guys are wondering, just start stacking them you can up. see the pins in there. They stripped out of the ram, so it just popped around. It's I bounced the front end. Well, that just sounded horrible. What was that? I think it's just. Okay, Jamie, crawl this forward really slow. Let's get this on kind of level ground and get this set up. Oh, crap. I probably should strap that down or something. Yeah, let me grab something. I'm just gonna wrap around it right here and hold it in place with that press. Do it. Okay, go. That'll do it. That'll do. Uh -huh. Maybe another saw shackle, huh? This thing just keeps on moving. Yeah. Now that they're not getting input, then we're gonna pick them up higher off the ground. Okay, I'm gonna get this strapped up here, and then Jamie's gonna haul me out of here. All right, now that we got this strapped up, we can put the drivers in the appropriate seats and we can get out of here. I'm gonna be sitting in this and you're gonna be sitting in this. That's scary. This is my first time ever driving it, hauling something. You're gonna do just fine. So just come the same way we came up? Nope, you're heading off. Oh, I don't know the way exactly. I'll, he knows the way and I know the way too. Okay. Are we changing the starter? That's... You might have killed it when you did that thing. There's nothing. It's ruined. <laughs> so, Jamie, now I damaged the starter really bad at the, the wrecker games. Well, the engine backfired really weird. The tune's not perfect. And Jamie just killed it by starting it when it was running. Oops. But. Oops. We knew this was there was a chance of this, so we've got this. The first thing to do is to disconnect the battery so you don't do any in involuntary welding. So here we're gonna disconnect the negative cables right there. Now we're good. And I know there's three of you out there. I'm gonna save you from saying it. This looks staged. 
<laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Absolutely not staged. I can tell you guys that right now. We, we're just trying. They're trying to get to Moab, and I'm trying to get to camp. <laughs> Eight millimeter, Jamie, or five sixteenths. I don't care which. That's the one that doesn't work anymore. These are the same bolt. This one's had a chance to cool off a little bit. This is a good starter? Yep. That's a good one, yes. That goes just like that. You gotta put that in first on this one because the drive shaft is directly under that. Look at the pry bar. Is it a claw hammer? <laughs> what did you know? Man. When I can touch this without scalding my fingers, it's going much nicer and easier. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thanks for coming to help me. Let, let, let's go ahead and change your starter out in the well, field. Thanks for staging this. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right, now we're making some of what they call the progress. Pop that out of there using my popper outer tool. It's like that. And then Jamie's in charge of putting all the tools away while my back's turned. Turn your back. All right, we're gonna put these tools away while his back's turned. There was only one thing to put away. I thought there would be more. All right, that's that. Now I just gotta put the battery terminals back on. We may get out of here before it gets dark. Wouldn't that be something? All right, go see if it'll start. That's Ugh. the. I'm nervous to start. I don't know. What if I break it again? Okay, hey, here we go. Give it a little gas. Wow, they're not working super good. The rears aren't? Nope. Okay, well, if we hit the front, dang, we hit the front. The damage is all accepted. This is a good pace, so look at your tachometer and just keep it there. We're getting it. All right, we just stopped here for a second to see how Jamie's doing. I'm doing okay. How are you doing back there? Am I, am I driving okay? It's terrifying. What? It's terrifying. Because of my driving? I'm not gonna say. Oh, it's not that bad, is She's it? She's actually doing really, really good. Let's go. Ready for the funnel? Mm -hmm. I wanna check and see how the back brakes are doing. They're a little warm. They're not smoking, but they're a little warm. It's been mostly smooth sailing on this trail. There's no real obstacles except for right here. I mean, we've had some rough spots, but this is called the funnel, and this is a pretty aggressive feature. Alright, so we've got another couple miles before we get to his camp down here in Long Valley staging area. Jamie's taking us on a pretty good ride.
down on that side first, Jamie. You're good. You're good. You're good. There you go. Mac, Mac can go back. She wants you just go like this really quick. And the hood's fixed. Yeah. Man, we made it all this way. I have been down that trail, but it was not that bad. It was like four or five years ago I was on that trail. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. All right. Appreciate well, it. yeah. Sorry about your hood. I didn't make a call. But I definitely hiked to find Matt so I could get towed out. <laughs> okay, thanks, man. We're gonna hit the road before it gets any darker. I got, I got, a, I've got a good too. YJ hood. Oh, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I really do. Uh, We're driving home in the dark. None of my lights are hooked up. We're doing the best we can, trying not to die. I hope we'll be okay. Well, that was a little bit of a bummer. I definitely have some some learning to do. I think we made a bad decision. We should have towed it down to the water tanks and then used a flatbed or a trailer to get it where it needed to go. Man, I flew too close to the sun again, like Icarus. But anyway, we did get it done. The customer's happy. We are exhausted. We haven't had any food for all day. Yeah, I got lots of practice in, both driving the wrecker and being pulled by the wrecker, and it was my first time, and so I learned a lot. We're gonna apply that knowledge in the future. Yes, yes we are. So, you probably don't recognize what we're in right now, or why we're even here. But, Lizzie and I... We got a call from Jillian. We're headed out to go get her. She's kinda out south of Sky Ranch, halfway in between here and the sand dunes, and we're in Hefe's brand new Ford Bronco. We're gonna hopefully not break it or get stuck because it would be embarrassing to have to call Matt out to come save us. But we're gonna test it out and see how well it does off-road. We have not upgraded anything on it yet. And I know that there's parts that are prone to break. So hopefully we make it. Well, first things first, here's a big mud puddle. You're gonna get it dirty, Hefe. <laughs> yeah, my mud flaps are on order. It's been raining on off and on all day today it's the afternoon follow along for the ride and we're gonna get them out ah lizzie we're <laughs> rock crawling this yeah, it shouldn't be too bad though. i don't know if that's not terrible if that's a terrible spot to get stuck what if there's also a flash flood yeah Well, let's do this. So I came over and I didn't realize I caught this lip. <laughs> yep. I'm completely off the ground in the back. Uh-huh. Well, I did it too. I mean, I'm taking the running board off. I just can't. <laughs> I got the Yeah. And then if we don't go it, backwards, we're gonna tear that all the way off. There's got to be another way. There is, because I we came around. This is exactly where I was stuck that one time. Yeah, I know. It's I exactly. said that. I've been too stuck right here. We'll go find another way around. I and I can't even open my door. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll out the window. <laughs> we'll make it as quick as possible. Here. So, uh, as I scratch my Bronco, <laughs> few scratches. Few skinny roads, few big dips. I think I hit the bump front bumper one time. Um, I think I need some bigger tires. I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> it sketches me out, because I've got no winch. I've got no armor underneath this thing yet. I've got stock tires, which are good tires, but they're not Milestars, and I love Milestars. 
I've got a stock bumpers, stock everything, and we're rock crawling. Oh, there she is, right there. Okay, we're gonna pull her out, see what we can do. Brand new rope. Lizzie always has a knife. It is a 30 footer. I probably should have grabbed a 20. Honestly, maybe you can jump it up. Yeah. You want to pull the Bronco forward? Now I can see I've driven head face Bronco. <laughs> You're the first one other than me, Lizzie. All right. So, hey. Jillian, just put it in reverse. And keep your tires like that until you start to climb and then straighten, straighten out, out a little bit. Okay. Okay, after Hefe disconnects the rope, back up a little bit more, just kind of up that way, and then I'll take you around it this way. Nice and slow. More driver. Okay, slow, slow. Thanks, guys. Yep. All right, Hefe. No scratching my. Okay. I okay. think if you come more. I'm gonna come around. straight, Lizzie. Yeah. I'm gonna come, come straight. straight, and then I'll turn when I get up here. Okay. 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 Come, come, driver, a little bit. Okay, you're gonna. It didn't do anything. You're fine. Oh, it sounded <laughs> terrible. Let's look it, underneath. It barely, barely touched your running board and it like didn't even do anything. This was Lizzie's idea. <laughs> You're the one that chose your spot. No, I didn't even touch the running board. I'm worried about like that's the fuel tank, Lizzie. Why is it so low? I definitely hit the fuel tank a tiny bit. You see that? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to get armor on that fuel tank. It's okay, we made it though, we made it. All right, well that was fun, testing out the Bronco. Scraped a little bit on the bottom, it needs some upgrades and it's gonna get them for sure. Real easy job. <laughs> she was just high centered, couldn't get out of there. Thanks for watching. <laughs> With all the babying that Hefe puts this thing through, kinda took forever, but it's okay. <laughs>